So one of the big, uh, most important factors about SAS is that at the end, uh, although we are still using the compiler, while we actively do our project at the end, we can compile all our CSS and through our script that we were actually, that we borrowed, uh, we can build our CSS and essentially have it compressed and it will take up less space up and be a, a smaller file. So in this case right here, uh, in the front end folder and our CSS folder, we have some extra files. And essentially what I did was before I ran our script, I came to check, I know we had an error and the error essentially was in the front end um, spelling of, of our script. So once I just fixed uh, front end, I believe um, just check every single one. I believe it was like uh, the compile SAS that had the front end. I believe there was another one over here with the prefixer. Yeah, so I just did like a major mess up with the with the spelling. So now I'm gonna say run build CSS in a terminal. I'm gonna run the script and hopefully in this case it runs well and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, great. So it did run our script, uh, but the whole point is for you to see over here how the files get added. Um, once it's finished, I'm gonna repeat again the script. So I'm gonna go ahead, delete this file. Uh, yeah, we can delete it. And same thing with this. We're gonna go ahead and delete it. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna say again, um, run uh, npm run build CSS, which is our script essentially just compiling our, our, our um, CSS and compressing it. And now we're gonna see what it looks like. So this is our CSS, you know, we, we, we get it compiled, we get smaller, but I believe over here is where it looks completely different. Okay. All right, so it, it's working fine, um, nothing too major, but in other projects where I, I had um, compiled my, my CSS through SAS, uh, we would get a bunch of extra like, um, characters down here essentially compressing to the max our CSS. Okay, cool. So that was that was just something that we have to do before we actually even get started. All right. So now we have built our CSS, we have used our SAS, and now it is time to upload a project and we're going to do it to Heroku. So when we start a project um, dedicated for Heroku, we initialize it with a database that's called um, Postgres SQL. And I didn't do that um, when I started this project. I just said, um, I just started my API, I gave it a name and that was said, I didn't, I didn't choose a specific database. So knowing that, um, we're gonna go to, to Heroku and we're gonna go ahead, install the command line interface and then we're gonna go ahead and push our project. And I know for a fact, we're gonna run into some problems. So we're gonna go ahead and debug them here live. All right, so let's go visit Heroku. Heroku CLI. So essentially I'm, I'm literally showing you what I, what I did like the first time, how I, how I came to actually, um, get started with the with the command line interface. So it says the Heroku CLI download and install. So brew and I have Ubuntu. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use let's use NPM. I use NPM, yeah. I I rather use npm in this case okay this is just step one after that i want to show you while this is installing it's going to take a couple seconds i want to show you what happens when we initiate our our rail server and i'm sure you're aware that when we initiate our rail server we land into a page and that page essentially is um is the, is the welcome to Rails. 
and that's fine. But the whole point of this this project, the single page application, I want it to work uh, in one repository. I don't want to separate it into two separate repositories. You know, I want this whole thing to be in one one standalone repository. I mean, we we will have our version controls for um, our projects, but that's a whole different story. Now we're gonna go to our local host also. I was working with React, so you saw the little React uh, icon there. All right, yay, you're on Rails, perfect. So this is this is what, what we get when we start our Rails serve, server. But what I wanna do is when I start my Rails server, I don't want to see this. I want to see the single application that we designed. So that's our that's going to be our next step. So we have already compiled our CSS, and we're going to be installing Heroku right now. But as soon as we finish installing Heroku, uh, I want you to take a look over here at the at the repository. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look for the public folder and it's empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a file there. I'm gonna put an index.html and I'm just gonna put an h1 and say, uh, one second. Hello, oh, no, not that. What are you doing? Okay, we're gonna say hello world, no, whatever. I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna reload and let's see what happens. Hello world, cool. So I think you already know what it is that I'm gonna do next. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the entire front end folder, at least the index and the, the source folder. We can leave the front end folder there as it is for our future development and testing. So, you know, whatever's working at the moment, we can we can leave it there in the front end folder. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so we have our folder up here, front end. And remember, like I said, I only need the, um, well, I need, I kind of do need every single factor in here, but I do want to leave this front end folder in here just for the sake of um, development in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna copy everything in here. Uh, so we got our CSS, images, SAS, source, index, and our style. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead to my, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Yes, goodbye. Uh, we're gonna go into, where was it? Our public folder. Public, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna paste it. Great. But you're not gonna see the icons of, of the names because although this is the server and it is running as a server, it's a server for the for the back end. So the images that we worked on previously are not gonna show up. The little icons that we oh let me see. Oh they do show up. Cool. Okay. Peter Parker's blue though. That shouldn't be happening. Okay. Um let's just leave it as is, whatever. Okay, so now, now that's good, that's good. Okay, now our next step is, well, remember how I told you that Postgres essentially needs, um, uh, that Heroku needs a post, Postgres database? Yeah, we gotta go change that right now. So I guess the little trick is right here, development. My bad, we need a production now. So yeah, let's do that. Need a group production and say do and and then we say gem um this PG I believe. Yeah. And that's about it. Oh it gotta be it's gotta be in parentheses. Okay, cool. And before we even try to upload it, we got to go ahead and update every single factor of every single jump, just in case.
So I just, so right now, in order to check our gem version, um, it's 3.8, 3.0.8. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say gem install bundler just to get everything updated. I want everything to be all the way to the highs that, it's, that, it, that it possibly can be. So I'm also gonna say gem update system. Let's see if that works. Okay, cool. So now we have actually um, 3.1.4. So it looks like there is a difference, which is good. So yeah, so once, um, so while that's installing, we're gonna go ahead and go check out the CLI. All right, so that's right. I'm gonna have to go and log in. Do I even remember my login? That's a good question. One sec, let me find out. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Heroku. Um, and I'm just gonna log in. I'm just gonna go ahead and find out if I remember my own password. So I just checked and I did remember my password. So we're good to go right now. Okay, so it was kind of it was kind of obvious, but I didn't see it. This says get started, and we got Ruby on Rails up here. So there, it was there waiting for us. So language support that was the option. Okay, so we're gonna do our local local setup. I'm gonna say Heroku login because I still haven't logged in over here. So let's see what happens. Um, press any. Press any key to open the browser to log in or Q to exit. I'm gonna press O for OK. Um, we're gonna log in. That's why I was checking if I remembered my. Uh, oh, you should now be logged in. I actually logged in when I went to Heroku, and I guess it, it remembers the session. Yeah, so I'm logged in. Cool. Okay, so what's the next step? Um, we can close that. So. I already, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, when you're gonna start your first Rails application, you would say Rails new app and in the database is Postgres SQL, but we already did that. Um, so we, we changed the, the SQLite 3, it's gonna be for um, um, development and for production, it's gonna be RPG. So we already did bundle install. Uh, we don't have to do the config. Um, I believe we don't. Let me just okay. So yeah, it's literally taking you through every single step of how to how to actually get started. But I want to say Heroku create because we're gonna be doing our first. We're gonna be uploading it already. So let's see what happens. Heroku create. We up. Okay, so we created, um, I guess, a project, but it's still not uploaded. So this is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna upload the project. So we're gonna say Heroku git push master. And this is usually here is where it gets some trouble. There's always something going on. Um, boom. Okay, so let's see what happened. Let's see what the problem is. I'm not, I'm not really, bundler too so this is what i was talking about and usually there's always a problem with bund bundler so i guess i guess in this case it wasn't updated that's right let's go ahead i forgot let's delete it first our gem lock um uh, bundle install let's see what happens Okay, so in this case, it got the PG installed it. I, th I think I forgot to say bundle install um, right before I, I put it up. So that was my error to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, so this is us trying to upload it as we go. 
So I haven't, I still haven't uploaded this one myself. So I guess we'll see, we'll see what happens. I mean, I've done it with other projects, but this one right here is a new repository. So let's see what happens. No. Okay. But sometimes when that happens more than three times, I like to just go ahead and delete the repository because I know I got everything updated, bring it back down and um, and retry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But first, I'm going to say get add because I so far I got everything that I wanted. Uh, so I'm going to save it before I even delete it from, from here. Get commit. So I'm going to say uh, up to date pre-deployment. Um, OK, get push. Oh, whoops. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, delete this from my computer, the entire uh, project, and give me one sec. All right, so we're back, and I came to check my the repository, and over here in public, it's up to date pre deployment. So so far, our information did get uploaded, and we're good. So if you have any questions as to the steps that I did through, you can come check out the commits. And this is when I first started the, the project, when I created the backend, when I created the, the front end, when I did this the SAS and I did some some um, some fixes for the BEM and I did the fix the typo. So you can go check the the actual the SAS compiler and the package JSON, and you're gonna see it, it's all already uh, fixed, the typo. And over here is us getting ready for pre-deployment. And once we are deployed, I'm gonna do a last commit and say, uh, good to go. So yeah, so we got our our project, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and clone it again and see what happens. So, clone repository, URL, uh, so, so this still doesn't want to delete. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to choose a different location. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, commits master. No, no, no. I don't want commits. I want the whole project. So I'm just going to go say GitHub, and I believe it was in here. Yeah. So, and clone. Should work. OK. Now we got it cloned. I'm gonna close this up. Go ahead, open the project, and we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it up and running. So we know at least that the problem was with Bundler. We know we have updated our Bundler, and let's just go ahead and run it. Bundle install, just in case. To be honest, this is the that was something else to worry about. So we're gonna go ahead and run the the command git push Heroku master and see what happens. Heroku does not oh okay. So I guess since we deleted this project, we're gonna have to say Heroku create. Heroku create. Because it is no longer linked to the other repository to the other git um You've reached the limit of five apps. Yep, I got the free account. So I'm going to go ahead and delete whatever I don't need from. There. So if you want to go ahead and delete your projects, I got the previous pre project central, a different meetup demo that I did. And I want to go ahead. This is the, the one that we just created. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. This one, I don't remember what it is. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these two because they're just not doing anything. So um, settings, and we're going to go ahead and delete it, delete application. 
Um, deleting your app. Yeah, I want to. And delete. So let's create it again. And we're going to push the master. Well, it seems to be working, but I'm not 100% sure until it is done. Um, it'd be great if it doesn't stall at this point. This is always the most nerve-wracking moment when it's like, is it, is it going to go? Is it going to go up? You, know, you obviously want it to go up. I'm not going to lie. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is this is better than a movie. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Ah, oh, so close. So close. Okay. So it says that I detected SQLite 3, which is not supported. And that's fine, because we actually didn't want SQLite 3. Okay, great. So we, we found a problem. So we're going to go ahead and move this jump right here. I'm going to go ahead, just take it out of there, because that's something that we want for development. Um, so I'm just going to put it right here. And I'm going to say bundle install. OK, so we're going to try one more time. And let's see if it actually works this time. Hey, but we got a lot closer than we we actually were before, so this is gonna be a good thing. So let's just see what happens. All right, so it says it is installing SQLite three, but it's just leaving it for development. It'd be nice if um, Heroku had um, support for SQLite three. At the moment, it doesn't, but it. The change that we did, it's not really that big. We just, you know, we did a group change. Other than that, though, it it's not that bad. But this is just a small application, too. So, okay. So at this point, we, we got the same problem. Um, okay. So I guess what I don't like sometimes when I'm trying to deploy it and I do make an error is that once you make one error, it, it thinks, you know, it, it, it rereads the same error over and over again. So let's go ahead and say. So, OK, so we're going to go ahead and delete it again. So delete it from your computer and we're going to try again. But before we do that, I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to add it to to the repository that the change we just created, because it, it's something that we do want. Um, so I'm going to go say get at. Um, what is that we got to do? Oh, get commit. And I'm going to say this time that we updated our database. Yeah, now that's that's good to go. Perfect. Oh, actually it didn't it didn't didn't go up. I need it. I'm right there. Database update. Great. So get push. All right, so let's go ahead and delete it once it's up. My project doesn't want to delete. I'm going to go ahead and just restart my PC until it's completely gone. I don't want any residue of the previous repository to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my PC, then delete it again. I managed to completely delete, delete it. So we're going to go ahead and reclone our our project. And now. We got to recreate with Heroku and we got to push um, the project to Heroku and see if it actually goes. Boom. So creating an app and I believe, I believe it was git push Heroku master. So, okay, multiple default build packs reported the ability to handle this app. The first build pack is in the list below. 
It's like the build packs. Ruby, no. J oh, okay. So it doesn't like the fact that it's got a package JSON, I guess. It could be. It could be one one of the reasons. Um, that's weird, though. I'm. I am gonna go ahead and remove it. I'm gonna see what happens, right? But I will re-download this whole project again because I already have it saved, and I saved it uh, to the, the latest version that I like. Bundle it. I mean, clone it. It's right if you got to do it a few times. Honestly, um, it is quite tedious. Not gonna lie, but this is how you learn. All right, so before anything, I'm just going to run the run uh, update bundle, run the. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, delete the gem lock, delete. Um, well, let's say bundle update bundler. Okay, because we got to say bundle and stall them. <laughs> and then we say update bundler. Okay, so, so far it seems like we got something going on. Um, let's check our gem lock. Now we got, so we definitely have a bundler higher than two. So Heroku creates and Hero, uh, get push Heroku master. Oh God, let's see what happens now. Yeah, no, that's weird. All right, so I'm gonna take the time out to find out exactly what's going on. So we're gonna go ahead and update our production. Um, we're gonna go into the config and we're gonna go into the database.yml and we're gonna configure the production side of the database. So we're gonna go ahead and say, um, let's just delete this for now. Adapter, Postgres, SQL. Uh, I got two, Postgres, SQL. Okay, cool. So we're gonna say database. We're gonna change this right here. We're gonna be needing the, the URL of the environment that we're using. So we're gonna go ahead and say database that URL. Okay, cool. You just say pool five and timeout. Five thousand. Five seconds. Okay. Save that for now. Um test. We can change the test. Yeah, let's go ahead and also change the test. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the same information. Except one thing there. So we would be getting rid of this one right here. and get rid of defaults. So I got adapter, uh, database. Um, so in this case, it's gonna be
the name of this application, single page demo. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this um, database.yml. Because uh, I know that's actually what I want. So I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just push it up to, to GitHub. And then we're going to bring it back down. Oh, so it's everything. Oh, I forgot to do a git commit. Oh, why am I update? So yeah, once you do that, just go ahead, push it up. I want to get rid of all the cache that I have here. So in your temp folder. I didn't see this in the previous um, Rails applications, uh, temporary folder, or I might have deleted it. Wait, that, don't tell me I deleted it by mistake right now. Okay. okay, cool. If you did notice also, I deleted the package um, JSON. I deleted the entire script. Um, I already have what I needed, though it's more of a more of a experimental thing to see if it Maybe it's influencing the application. I didn't want it to be there anymore, but I just deleted it. I got rid of it right now. Uh, we're done with that. We're, we're not gonna need it any further. Um, but like I said, um, you could you could use it eventually in the future for the same project. That's up to you. Uh, but right now, I guess the whole mission is just to get it up on Heroku. So, okay. So as soon as I deleted the cache from over here from the temporary files, um, it seems like the, um, the project was able to be pushed up to Heroku. So I'm going to say git push Heroku master. So I'm going to show you really quick. This is actually it being, being deployed. Literally, the only thing I did right after uh, deleting the temporary files, git um, push Heroku master. So I, I saved it the way I wanted to. I deleted the, the files here. And then I said just git push Heroku master. Um, and we were good to go. Though I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time, try to run it completely in a, in a clean cycle and see what happens. So yeah, I'm gonna delete this project even though it is up and running right here. Uh, let's see what happens. Now we're gonna go ahead and open it. And we're gonna see what it looks like. Method not allowed. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that first before we even delete it to see the process. Now I'm going to say Heroku run Rails DB migrate. It should work now that it's already up and running. Okay. So that, that error right there, I did run into it uh, into before before. Before I keep on going, I'm going to go ahead and add a new static um, route. So this route essentially is going to be the one that it's always being read. And um, just in case when we initialize our server, the application, it knows what route to go. So we got our resources over here. We previously did them, but we're going to go ahead and say get um, other, each and every single other route. So essentially just be the the, um, the index. It's gonna be static though. Okay. So let me go ahead and save that. So we're gonna go ahead and, well no it's not up to date actually. Good add. Uh, I have an idea. Commit. And we're gonna go ahead and say um let me just make sure that it's correctly spelled. Get um I don't like using these quotes right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the other quote. Control D, control D, control D, and we're gonna go ahead and bam. Okay. Cool. 
I'm going to take out the comma from here, put it outside to static uh, index. Okay, we should be good. So before we run that, one more get at, and I commit. At this point, we say uh, new static index route. And now we say git push. And now we're going to go ahead and push the whole thing to Heroku. It should work. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so it should show us um, something. No, okay, it's not really showing us. So let's go ahead and look into our log and see what's happening. All right, so cool we got something to work with now okay so this was the latest we had an error code up all right so after we add the route we're gonna go ahead and actually add a controller for it too so we're gonna say new and just static controller dot rb let's spell it correctly okay so obviously we've got to make a class that's going to inherit from application controller and we give it one um method Gonna be your index and it's gonna render our file. And that's gonna be the one from our uh, our public folder. It's interesting. I could poss possibly do our um call our uh uh front end folder, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the public right now because I wanna use that. And I trust that a little more right now, that HTML. And we're gonna go ahead and say, um, render file, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that up too. Oh, so now I didn't want to, what? Oh, this is something else. Get add new uh, controller for index route. Go ahead and push it. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and try to push up to Heroku and see what we get. Dun, 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 dun. Well, now we've pushed it up a few times already, so we should be getting something better now. We should. Okay. So it says it's up and running. Let's see if we actually see something. No. So what are we gonna see now? Okay, so. Let's 
So our problem is our root. That is essentially a problem right now. So we got our index. We got a static controller, application controller. Yeah. Mm, okay, I see a problem. Let's see if we can see the only problem sometimes is when you with with small errors like that, I think is that if you try to say git push Heroku, it, you have to lit literally save every small typo and then say git push Heroku master. So yeah, so I just push that typo fix and I'm gonna go ahead and push it again. Um, to Heroku. No. Okay. Before I even run the next Heroku uh, Rails DB migrate, first I want to definitely have the static page up and running and then have um then actually add some users up there. So I hate it when this happens, but I have a tiny typo right there. Now I gotta push that up and then push it again to Heroku. All right, so I did the little typo fix and now I wanna go ahead and actually upload it again and see what happens. I guess not. No. I just realized that this style up over here in the public folder, for some reason, yeah, we, we don't need this style. I know it's here. It's just not that it's empty. The style folder that we are using, oh, whoops, crap. It's actually this one right here. So what I want to try now is we're going to change our source folder. Uh, we're going to go back into our public. And remember that we have uh, over here, we have a base URL. That's nice. But now we actually need the, the URL of the application itself. So we're gonna, right now we're going to go ahead and create a, um, a .env file. And so I'm going to say times oh, times save it. It's actually going to be more efficient if we change. So we're just going to go ahead and rename it. Okay, so at this point, this is gonna be our new, I want this to be our new um, URL. We're gonna change it to that. We're gonna save that URL. Now we're going to go ahead and push this. Let's see what we got. And we're going to go ahead and push again the 
broke master. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't gonna work, but let's check out the the logs. The good thing is that it is uploading, although we deleted it and we started again. So that's a good thing. So we're gonna try something else in our bin. We're gonna go ahead and paste this. Uh, just a little experiment that I'm trying right now. If it works, cool. If it doesn't, then it's all right. Like I said, we also got a in process. We're just requiring some files, some relatives. And we're gonna push it up again. It seems pretty straightforward. Um, but once you actually start doing it, it gets kind of messy. Wow, there you go. We got it up and running. So at the end of the day, I had to require this relative right here. And it was actually telling me in the errors, but I wasn't noticing it. Where was it at? So right here. So starting process with uh, command bin rails. Um, so some, something was telling me that I should go check check the bin rails, obviously, which which was this. That I wasn't too sure what, what I meant by that. So I remember I actually had this problem before, and I actually ended up finding this, this script right here. Um and there you go, like that was that was essentially that was that was it. Um so I wanna go over again the process that we went. So but this time I'm gonna be looking actually let's first let's check if we can actually even build. Um, so hold on a second. I have this plugin that makes everything dark. I'll go ahead and just turn it off. So we're gonna go ahead and add Peter Parker. You know, like always. And we're gonna say Peter at Parker dot com, right? Let's see if it creates. Oh, that's the thing. I gotta run a, a rake DB migrate now. But that's that's already a good step that we actually see the page come up. Um, let me see if I have it. There we go. Heroku run rig db migrate. Um, now let's see if that works. Okay, there we go. Now that's another problem right there that we just ran into. So while looking through the error that I got. I literally just searched the same error that I got and I got something interesting. It says to so use the same um, command that I used at first, but underneath it's telling me to try something else. So we're going to go ahead and just try that also and see what we can get. This time it's for the input. No, before it was just for true. Okay. Let's go ahead and try the same thing again. Wow. So it looks like it's actually working this time. It's literally converting every single file of the entire application. I might accidentally break the whole thing while trying to re-upload it. Like I said, it's part of the process though. Oh, wow, look at look look at it go though. My goodness. Alright, you don't have to watch the whole thing. I'll pause it while until it finishes. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a, it's a retrace because I'm just going back. So I'm going to push it up again. 
Heroku, and we're going to see again what happens this time. We should be good. We have to be good. Not going to jinx it, though. I think I already did. Oh, I think that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and try it now. Let's see if that works. Because if it does, then we can start posting and getting everything. Oh, well, it froze. I did it. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. I'm like, it did it. So, does that mean it can start posting now? Reload. There's a problem though. And let's see if it's got a connection now. Oh, okay. So I just noticed something strange. Let's look at the URL. HTTPS dot the, the address roku.com. And then after that, um, weird because we get project central again. And that's something that we shouldn't be getting. This is this is what we should be getting. So this is the origin right now. And we got accidentally. Let me look at the edges that I got card. Yeah, this actually looks a little bit weird. I'm going to go ahead and use this address instead. Let's use that address. I don't even know why I got that down right there. Oh, this is it, yeah. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. Get it. We already know. Let's get like five seconds ahead. But if you want to know exactly where, where the, the commit is and what we did, then you can stick around. Oops, I just had a burp. Whoops. Sorry. So base URL six question mark. <laughs> These are so helpful. Only if you watch the video. And we're gonna go ahead and push that up. Uh, I think I'm gonna I think I already see another problem. It should be without the without the semicolon. So I'm gonna just say get add. Before I push it, I push already though. I pushed it, didn't I? All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Base. Well, what now? What's slash? And Heroku comes next. Like always. At one point, I was so paranoid about doing the Heroku get push, the master. Because um, I remember the first time I made it work, I'm like, oh, God, it finally worked. I didn't want to break it. But you kind of have to keep doing it. All right, let's see if this time something else happens. Okay, well, nothing came up, and you might be like, well, that's that's actually not a bad thing at all, to be honest. If I say all projects, hey, I think we're getting somewhere. Let's let's create a new, uh, a new person. I'm getting a little excited, but I shouldn't because, honestly, anything could go wrong at at any point. Yes, 
It worked. Oh, finally. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. With a couple of R's, Peter. Okay, there you go. That was us deploying to Heroku. And it was quite a ride, guys. Not going to lie. But we did it. We deployed to Heroku and we fetched in information properly and correctly. Honestly, I hope it was helpful. I know this is long. It looked like it was tedious, but this was me a few times um, in, the, in the beginning too, learning how to do it. Um, if you get stuck, do not get, dis do not get disencouraged. Um, the first time that I did it actually took me a lot longer than this, um, but it only makes you better, makes you stronger, gives you some character. And you got this, all right? So take care and don't forget to subscribe. And if it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you and peace out.